All right. So uh, this is going to be Aquarius Sun Moon and as well rising a weekly love and relationship tarot reading for February 10th to February 16, 2020. And uh, in case guys you are interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below of this video and there you are going to find a link to my website. As well there you are going to find a link to your other video of the week which is a focused on business and uh, career. So that being said, moving into the spread, the first card here is going to be in regards to the topic of your love and relationship, followed by the next one, which is the energies that are supporting the topic. Which that The first one is two of pentacles. The second one, it is going to be the ten of pentacles, followed by the third card here, which is uh, the challenges that you will have to overcome for throughout the week that in terms of love and relationship. That is to be the king of cups. Then the fourth one, it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy for throughout the week. Uh, that is going to be the Eight of Cups, uh, followed by the next one here, which is how people see you, how your friends and family sees you, how your suitors are seeing you, how your beloved one is seeing you as well. That will be the uh, Strength card. And then the last one, it is the guidance in terms of love and relationship for your Aquarius for throughout the week. We have the Nine of the seven, excuse me, of wands. Uh, that is a tough one, guys. I mean, a tough one to be read at. Um, all right, so what we have for you as a the starter here uh, is going to be the ten of pentacles and the two of pentacles as a energies and the topic of uh, the week in terms of love and relationship. So the, the energies are that you are going to feel very cozy for throughout this week and you are actually not gonna mind anything that is happening to you in term of uh, in term of love uh, what i mean here it is that for example if you are single for one or another reason you're not gonna mind being single okay or if your partner wants to do something you're not gonna mind your partner that your partner wants to do something on their own uh, that is because you are going to increasingly start having this um, urge to jump out of dependency in terms of love and relationship. So you do not allow your life to be dictated of how your relationship is going forward or from the, from the fact that you are single, you know, or from the fact, for example, that you love someone, but that person doesn't love you back and etc. etc. Ten of Pentacles as well as a uh, energy card. It is these energies are very, uh, how can I say it, positive for making reconciliations as well, because uh, those energies are forcing people that have betrayed trust in the past to come back and to try to uh, mend, you know, the relationship, either friendship or a loved one that they have, uh, that they have broke. So if you are corresponding, for example, with um, an ex that you do have, you know, or, uh, or you're trying out to make up for the relationship you have broke because you have betrayed the trust of your uh, girlfriend or of your boyfriend, that week is a very good week for you that you are going to actually have success in it. So the other card here that we did, so these energies are feeding up the, um, the topic and that is a topic of two of pentacles now when we're talking about love and relationship and two of pentacles this is where a small things are starting to appear in the sense of that uh, you are finding out a more how can i say it more amusing stuff around yourself or into your relationship or into the people that you are meeting and into the person that you are dating it does depends of your situation which is going to make you let go of certain criteria that you held into so tightly up until this moment and therefore things that usually up until this moment wouldn't go by they are to go by it is uh, at that point it is because you're not gonna find it substantial you know to hold on into kind of like being adjudicate uh, to adjudicate stuff that actually have no um impact whatsoever on the relationship moving forward or of your emotional state a moving forward but on my personal thoughts here with those two cards i do believe 
that we do have an, an appearance of a person regardless of are you in relationship or not for example if you are in a relationship right now these cards are pointing for example that x is coming around so we do have you so we do speak for a third party okay even if you are in marriage that is very possible to happen and also if you are single uh, we definitely can see here that someone comes around which is going to be quite difficult for you both to make up a relationship with okay why now that is going to be the third card and the third card of the king of cups now that is the person that comes around here and uh, it will be challenging to make that person reveals to reveal their emotions towards you it is just how the king of uh, the king of cups excuse me it's just how the king of cups operates okay they do have a deep emotional connection with someone or with something in this case with you but they do not like how can i say it they do not reveal it it is just within their nature um uh, uh, as they are into the negative position uh, it's like you know they have it but it is more, almost a secret how can I say it, 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 it kind of like they love you secretly all right or they want to be with you secretly it is something something like this with the king of cups why it is because they are finding the describing emotions is a waste of time it is because they are finding that when they um, open up and when they show their emotions into the world and into you it is a very big chance there is a, a very big chance that they are going to be hurt okay so for that reason the king of cups does not um open up and does not show uh what kind of feelings and what kind of emotions that does they um are experiencing toward a specific person or in this case uh, towards you so um, uh, just to summarize up until this point guys because it's all over the place here uh, with uh, those three cards we do have a few subjects first of all uh, you are to become much more adaptable in terms of love and relationship meaning that right now in throughout this week much more um, people that are around you will become suitable for forming relationship with yourself or if you are in a relationship and much more enterprises will become acceptable to be experienced into the um, forming relationship with a possibility that X comes around and third party person, which third party person is not going to be uh, willing to open up and to show their emotions towards you so what are going to be the gifts and the blessings that you are to experience that is going to be the eight of cups and none of this is going to affect you in any way emotionally i mean um it is the gift and the blessing so that person does not open up for you oh big deal you know someone eventually is going to so you're not going to feel bad about it and you're not going to feel poignant about it you know okay so your relationship opens up and much more things are becoming possible at that point to be experienced so there are no restrictions great things so a much be better perspectives are to unfold in front of you the eight of cups here points as the gifts and blessings it is that misfortunate situations are gonna stop influencing your life as a negative impact and more um, better perspectives are to start impacting your love and relationship life in a much better way so it's kind of like a, as a gift and blessing it's it, we do have a clear separation and swiping off you know the negative aspects or rather like the unfortunate circumstances aside and it's they are replaced with a positive perspectives and um, you know positive outcomes but that is not caused caused by the universe it's not caused by faith but it is caused by your personal standpoint it is because you're just gonna let go once again of those uh, concepts that you do have that you are holding on into so tightly up until this moment and you are to become much more adaptable and much more agile with your expectations with your criteria as well and whom you are giving chance too as well and also you are going to become much more adaptable into letting go it is like you are not gonna bite without letting go right? it's it's an expression in my country so if 
someone doesn't want to be with you, you probably are going to say to yourself, whatever, you know, eventually someone will. It's not a big deal uh, and it's not a big loss. <clears throat> Next one, it is how other people are going to see you, how your friends and families are going to see you, how your uh, partner uh, in relationship is going to see you, how your suitors are going to see you. We do have the uh, strength card. So these people are going to see you or are going to take on you as a, a very enthusiastic person but also as a person who very well understands what is good for them and regardless of the circumstances around that you are determined to do what is good for you so in other words people are going to see you as someone who does not find necessary to explain themselves constantly why they want to sleep on the couch for example or why they want to go out party with other people or why they love someone or why they want to be with someone etc etc additionally to that people are going to see you as a, a very patient individual it is like you are persevering per perseverers blah, blah, persevering seeing through that patience and endurance as well because take it that example here okay so we do have someone who does not open up towards you and you are actually kind of like quite annoyed of it and you say okay whatever you can go your way i will go mine and eventually i'm gonna find someone that is gonna open up without have to push it okay because if let's face it guys especially in loving relationship if you push it at the end is gonna be a shade isn't it it's just it's, it's just how it works in love in relationship things has to happen naturally you don't have to push anything so uh people are going to see you determined to find that kind of interaction either in existing relationship or either into a, a future one and uh, the final card that we do have here it is the guidance the tarot is offering and that is the seven of wands and you have to stand your ground. It is literally what the card shows, okay? Uh, because as we can see here with the standpoint of how people see you, they are to see you as a very strong individual, once again, that is not budging out, someone that cannot be swiped away, someone that cannot be manipulated. And uh, you have to stand that way. Additionally to that, as a guidance, the Seven of Wands points that as soon as you see rumors about you, okay, what you did, how you did it, um, in terms of love and relationship or whom you are with, if those rumors are not true, you have to intercept them straight away. Seven of Wands here points as well that uh, it will be quite wise from your behalf to resist temptations, for example, one night stands, and as well to be ready to jump into action whatever opportunity for you opens, which is different from one night stands, okay? Uh, an opportunity that promises a, a long-term development and not one night stands, for example. So that being said, uh, Aquarius, this was your weekly love and relationship tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, if you are interested into a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you are going to find a link to my work to my website as well as a link to your business and career tarot reading for that very same week. That being said, see you all around and until then, bye.